Okay, so here's a, a diagram of my setup out there. Um, right here I got my solar panel. There's a cable, it's about 10 feet long I think, that comes from the, the solar panel. It's connected directly to the solar panel. Um, and then it branches off into into uh, two conductors. They have actually pretty nice clamps on the uh, cable that I can connect right to my battery. This is actually a side post battery. So I just have a couple of bolts run into the side that I'll hook the clamps to. Um, and then from the battery to the the game camera, it's a Spy Point um, Micro LTE game cam. It's just a little guy. It doesn't. I don't even think it does video. But uh, um, anyway, it's a cellular unit. So I thought I'd give it a try, and it was only a hundred bucks, so not too bad. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> the cable from the battery to the game camera is about a hundred feet, and is quite a distance and then from the from that cable I'll just use these spade connectors right here that connect to the um, I, I bought a, a, a cable at a 12 volt uh, has a barrel connector that'll fit into the external port to this game cam I think that's about six feet or so so anyway um, yeah, I tried this Cat5 cable, and it just didn't work, and it's probably, I don't know if you can see, but the, the, uh, I'll try the other end here. But the wires here, this is that Cat5 cable, it's a 24 gauge wire, and I think it's just too small. Um, I didn't know what the power requirements were of the camera, so I figured I'd try that that uh, Cat5 cable since I had some laying around, and I would only see about four. I put my meter in series with it, and just to see what was going on, and I found that I could get about a max of of 420 milliamps is what I saw. So the camera would power up. It's just that it wouldn't find its uh, wouldn't find its cell signal. So, and then when I take that chunk of wire out of the circuit, everything would work just fine. So, um, anyway, so I, I also had a chunk of this. This is uh, this UF cable. It's 14 gauge. It's got uh, well three conductors. It's got a you know it's meant for house wiring and that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to use this black, that'll be the positive wire, the white will be the negative, and I won't even use the ground wire. But I've already tried this, and when I hook it up, everything works just fine. And what I, what I also found was that when the camera acquires the cell signal, I think it's drawn about 500 milliamps or so, which, you know, at 12 volts DC, that's... Uh, um, uh, six watts of power at the game camera and then when it when it actually transfers a picture I think it's uh, what the most I've seen is about um, let's see, 630 milliamps which comes out to be about seven and a half watts so I think what will happen is uh, at night when it's using it's infrared, it's probably going to draw even more current or take more power, you know, to transfer picture at night. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an inline fuse. I got this little fuse holder. I think it's meant for automotive, but I'm going to solder that to the, uh, you know, over here. And then on the other, on this end, I'm going to put a ring terminal. This size ring terminal fits over the bolt that I have into my battery. So I'll do that on that end. And then on the other end, I'll use those speed connectors that uh, these guys here, those will attach to the, um, you know, to, to this cable 
that goes into the game camera so yeah these will be spade connectors over here and then to the battery those bigger ring connector uh, ring connectors so yeah I'll do that now and get her hooked up and I, I still don't know if this is gonna work you know the the uh, where the solar panel is it's less than ideal conditions because you don't get much sun but I got so many trees in that area that that, that uh, I'm just gonna have to deal with it well my battery pack has been out of the camera you can see it just sitting on top of the camera now for a couple days um, and everything's been working pretty good um, <clears throat> here's my my spade connectors that are connecting to my 14 gauge UF wire I'm gonna just tape those up I think I'm gonna bury that wire just in these pine needles just so that uh, a deer won't catch that wire and, and uh, pull it out of place. Yeah, you can see how <clears throat> how thick it is in this pine forest. But surprisingly enough, that camera, that Spy Point Micro LTE, still gets about a 90% cell signal in here. Um, so, anyway, and you can see my... Or maybe you can't... I'll walk over towards it this is where my solar panel is <clears throat> down here like I say about a hundred feet away um, and for whatever reason I, I put my battery in the car battery in this I had it all I got a bunch of these old styrofoam coolers from Omaha steaks that I never know what to do with so I thought yeah and just stick that battery in there to protect it. It gets, <clears throat> it gets to be about, uh, you know, up to 60 below. This is in northern Minnesota, so maybe in the winter that might hold in a little bit of heat, especially once it's buried in snow. But yeah, here's my. <clears throat> I was mentioning I just put a bolt in there on the side post uh, terminals, and then I got my little fuse, my one amp fuse in line. So, and the battery's been holding right now. I just measured it. It's about 12.03 volts. <coughs> and here's my my sol solar panel. <coughs> and you can see I get a little bit of sunlight. It's been overcast now for the last three days or so. But uh, hopefully this is a setup where, you know, you, once you get it installed you can kind of forget about it and it'll just work so we'll find out